you understand what it means to remove media's blinders? <laughs> Spend every waking moment seeing the world for what it is, seeing people for what others make them. I almost lost myself to that notion. Even though I'm still searching. Reality is something we can only escape for so long. See, at that point, I didn't understand it. What I was seeing. I thought I'd go mad. Hi. Yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd like to make an appointment. I think I'm seeing things. As, as soon as possible. Sure enough, the professionals agreed. They told me I had some form of paranoia, that I should spend less time on screens in hopes it would die down before continuing with any other medical help. So that's exactly what I did. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alexa. Would you like to play a song? Seven, I was a fool to believe I could escape them so easily. After all, they may as well have been part of me at that point. Only a few days had passed before I became desperate. The confines of my room had never felt more alone, more purposeless than in those few days. I had to get out. I felt, perhaps, that I had judged my sights too harshly. And I realized I had. I now know the world is such a thin place. The boundaries between us, between countries, communities, friends, they've never been more open. I realized I could see that. I could see these invisible things so intimate to us we forget they exist. And how we are what they produce. Still now I wonder about this reality. I sometimes like to differentiate it. I put earplugs into my ears so I no longer hear their music. Or focus on my phone, my media, so I no longer see theirs. But perhaps I wrap a blindfold around my eyes so I don't see anything at all. All of that just for a moment of seclusion. A moment for myself outside that world. A moment that's impossible. Our life is a media life. There is no less truth to that reality than one without it. But I guess the question still remains. Are you ready to accept a world without blinders? Mm -hmm.